We had some of our audience asking us questions. If mothers-in-law and sisters-in-law are all supposed to be part of this virtuous women, reasons being that a lot of women right now are somehow skeptical when it comes to proposals. So if a man approaches them to, you know, for marriage, they begin to ask questions. Uh, is your mother alive? <laughs> and if the answer is yes, then that's the, the you know that's the person's cue to step back a little bit. Yeah. People are afraid of what mothers-in-law are doing mm -hmm. to daughters-in-law, how they want you to be you know perfect to a certain extent for their children. Yeah. I would like you to please talk to mothers or sisters-in-law who are making life really difficult oh, you know for women. Yeah. Mothers-in-laws and sisters-in-laws can also be virtuous women. The men should also not allow their mothers and their sisters, sisters to misbehave. They should draw the line, okay? Tell them, well, this is my wife. You either like her and then keep our relationship going or I will cut you off, you get me, if you misbehave. Because if you just allow them to do anything, they will mess up your marriage, your and marriage. it's not right. Yes, they've lived their life, especially the mothers, and it's now time for you to live yours. They cannot continue living their lives through you. So I would say if it's happening on the man's side, his um, family is misbehaving, please stand up and stop them from misbehaving if you want your marriage to continue. And if it's happening from the woman's side, because sometimes the woman's family too can be, you know, very troublesome. troublesome. So you also stand up and stop your family from misbehaving. And the families too should give them a gap of respect so that they can, you know, enjoy their marriage without them. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>